what's up guys i'm back in mk and we like to chill and watch tv and i'm so sorry we're late but we are back with episode six season four of snowfall say a little prayer and before we get too deep into this i want to say thank you to everybody that subscribed to the channel we finally reached over a thousand subscribers we see y'all y'all here with us i love it and if y'all noticed we now have new intro music that came from my homie our new producer big chiz I will be dropping the link to his channel down below, so y'all definitely go check him out, okay? Now, into the previous episode of review. Several things, all of which are just terrible. So, Man Boy gave us an ultimatum. We said, fuck your ultimatum, <laughs> Drew. He wanted us to give up Leon because previously, when we had beef with one of his people, he gave them up. Good for you. That's your problem. Exactly. That's your beef. But we're not handing over Leon. I'm actually very happy about that because I didn't like the fact that man boy started acting like he was big shit in charge or some shit. Like, who the fuck are you to tell me what I better do? We might end up regretting this later because for real, for real, Scully just crazy. But I mean, hey. I'm choosing a loyalty over, you know, orders. I told y'all Khadija wasn't going to be able to fix this shit. Khadija out here making shit worse. Y'all sitting on y'all ass. <laughs> oh, she with the shits. We got Gustavo. He had a few requests of Teddy. I want you some money. Crazy. And I want my bitch back. I want Lucia. I want, an, I want to clear that up. He needs closure. Bitch, where you been at? I don't agree with that shit either. We really need to leave the fucking past in the past, but whatever. And then, sorry that I have to bring this up, but we got Irina running around. She now has the full support of her paper to make our lives just harder. I'm treating Irina like Baltimore. We don't say that name around here. Well, the reporter lady... I don't see this working out well for her. I don't think this story is going to get released. I don't. But it's, she going to die. She has to die. I don't if know. She if she does, it's still going to be out in the paper. I, Motherfuckers read the paper. But if we kill her before it gets released. I doubt it. She about to be trying to search and follow and do something to everybody in this crew. Somebody better figure it out. We are some hardcore drug dealers and we are in the CIA Somebody better notice this shit. And maybe either the government will take her out. Maybe Teddy will just do it. I don't know. But she got to go. She out here causing problems. So that's all we got from the last episode. Say a little prayer. That doesn't really give me... I don't know. I don't, I don't really have any predictions for what this episode might be. So, you ready? Let's go. Theodore. Calling to tell you your brother's dead. <gasps> no. Matthew's dead. I mean, I'm gonna come to my brother's channel. The funeral was yesterday. You son of a bitch. You should be grateful that I contacted you at all. You did it. Holy fuck. Bad parenting. Bad parenting. Well, damn. That is fucking savage. Bobby Womack. Old man McDonald said, fuck you. Y'all know nothing about Bobby Womack. They don't? If you think you lonely now. Are we getting back? To oh, shit. Strong out. Them withdrawals is for. I wonder how long Leon paid to, like, let her stay here. Throw that shit. Ew. Oh, is that a detoxing baby? That's a thing. Mm -hmm. We good now? She like, I got this shit under control now, damn it. Motherfucker, superhero. 
<laughs> Good shit, Wanda. Brick by brick. Bruh. Kill the kid. Ooh, shit. I was just joking. Kills kids. That's the dude that was working with our. That Voldemort motherfucker. I don't know what you thought you was about to do, Peaches. Good shit. No, you can't. I ain't do that shit though. Like, right, like what the fuck you gonna take me in and do what? I didn't do it. Okay, pause. Why is Scully hanging all these crosses in his house? Get your dude. Never no, should have started shooting with the baby in the car. Arkansas. From Cal. I hate people who act like that. Who are you? Charles. Damn, what the fuck? This is last meal. So about that. Look at his face. He like, what, bitch? Leon, you knew about this shit? That is very true. I didn't think about that. Five grand each month your way. And a quarter million wait on you when you get out. Damn. Okay, but still. Mm -hmm. Fifty years. Possibly. Don't be no crash dummy. Real fat bag. You a crash dummy. You won't have forget. Something bad gonna happen. All I see is the commercial where they ram the cars into walls and the dummy go. <laughs> Damn, that pure? Yeah, mama too. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let me rock this up. Okay. Let me rock this up. You are. Oh, shit. She's just tasting it. I don't. Oh, she just tastes. It just make her mouth numb. <laughs> yeah, just like we. I blew a motherfucking head off. That's how. We about to get him some guns and shit too. You suck. Oh, that turned them bitches on, huh? He no. ain't even hit shit. 
Bitch, get wet when he knock one off this shit. Yeah, fat back. You a real one, though. Damn. I ain't even watched my man go in. And you can never smoke that. None of y'all. What you mean we can't smoke? How this thing hook you is unlike anything I ever seen, including heroin. What is it exactly you bringing in here? Talking about can't smoke and need news. It's worse than heroin and shit. Hey, my girl wouldn't bring me nothing we couldn't handle. As long as you're smart, do shit the way we tell you. He gonna be a problem. He feel the same way Jerome did. I mean, yeah, but he gonna be a fucking problem. Cause he seemed like he ain't gonna be trying to listen to what we telling him. If you scared, just say that. Teddy really loosey goosey in the mouth right now. Everybody is replaceable. And I mean, everybody is replaceable. One, you don't forget that. And two, no, the fuck we not. You gonna trust Man Boy with the CIA shit? You gonna trust Scully with the CIA shit? Alright then. God damn right. But he was charged with accessory to murder, so are they still going to be after fucking Leon? Hey, who this? Hey, that's you? What? I ain't got nowhere to go. No one to help me. I got my own problems right now. I really don't have time to deal with this. Go find a shelter or something. Damn. I'm literally on the run. Franklin. Franklin Daddy Shelter. Mm -hmm. Khadija's cooking? She ain't doing it right. She making a bomb. She about to go try and handle fat back herself? What is she about to do? She did call them motherfuckers weak. about to pull up soon as they leave. This is set up. No, fat back. If it seems too good to be true, it usually is. Oh, no. Oh, no. Is that what she was cooking? Damn, girl. That shit stink. This bitch made chloroform? Hey, this motherfucking DJ is raw. <laughs> you know how mad you gotta be to figure out how to make something that make a motherfucker pass out? Your baby just died. I mean, true, but damn, bitch. I got a question for you. That man, he was here the other night. Yeah. Did you see him? No. Damn, pages is fucking inconvenient. Shit! But ass. He just needed a new <laughs> scene in his contract. The fuck? He was not prepared. Franklin, did you post his 
Gully got him out of jail. Oh, Khadija got him out of jail. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Khadija gangsta as fuck. She is my new hero. It's Franklin then Khadija. No, you're not. I don't think she cares. <laughs> He taking so many goddamn stab wounds. Is this where we introduce our crack? To the Is world. he just handing out crack to people? Expansion. He said we just fucked this community up. He's so disappointed. Why everybody keep snitching? Yes. <laughs> Would you look away like you know <laughs> so <some> shit? <laughs> I'm the only one in the Leon. Leon. Damn, Teddy. Get off the floor, Teddy. What I did. Everybody is replaceable. You said it yourself. Avi. Now we gotta kill Avi. At least we still need it. I'll take it. Yeah. Avi, I'm gonna fuck you up. That shit hurt Teddy to the fucking core, man. Because it was his fault. He know it was. Oh, yes. We got the pimp shoes and the pimp cane. Oh, fat back. Leon ain't gonna like that shit. Hell no. We looked in his face told everything was gonna be alright. You fucking full of shit. I didn't know Khadija would bond him out. Yo, I'm sorry. Hulk smash. Hey. Peach said, hey. Get your boy. <laughs> get your boy. I will fuck him up. Little ass getting real disrespectful. Good shit, Wanda. We made it. To reporter bitch show up. Damn it! You want to kick all these homeless people out? I've also got proof about who's really behind it. Scary. Bitch, you are so, like, not cool family. about this shit. Tell me what you know. Help me make this story and I'll spare your family. Refuse. And what? I focus on your wife and son and this place. Kill her. Burn. Kill her. Kill that bitch. We gotta kill her tonight. 
All he got to do is tell Franklin. Franklin. And we're going to kill her tonight. And then Franklin going to tell Teddy and the problem is solved. I ain't even mad about yeah, that. Yeah, I love this goddamn show. Of course, this evil bitch pop up at the end. <laughs> the most evil motherfucker in the show pop up at the end. All right, y'all, that was it for episode six of Snowfall. Say a little prayer, and I'm here to say it right now. Rest in peace, Fatback. Justice for Fatback. That Khadijah did him straight filthy. Filthy, y'all. She might be worse than Scully. She really might. Like, it, it, wouldn't it be she, funny if the one we were worried about was Scully, but the one we should have been worried about was setting off fucking Khadijah? Man. I don't know her name, but yeah, she doing her thing and this acting shit. Right. Because even the way she killed Fatback, just, I felt that shit. I Like, yeah. the plan you put together, you made... I'm going to call it chloroform in the kitchen. Told you, baby daddy, look, I need his, I need money. I need a lot of it. You bonded fat back out, set this whole thing up, and then you murked. How do they not know who bailed him out? Like, did he not see the name on the bill thing? Because when I get bonded out thinking that, you know, my big drug dealer friend that asked me to turn myself in, that told me he was going to take care of me, now they telling me I'm out. Why would you question that? And then plus, even if he did have a question, homegirl said, Franklin and Leon mm-hmm. sent me to come pick you up and show you a good time. So, I mean, I see how it happened, but it's still so fucked up. She stabbed that motherfucker like 20 times. That was just, the fat back ain't deserve that. After agreeing to, like, basically take that charge and shit. Some crash dummy shit. Fatback didn't deserve that at all. Another person who didn't deserve what happened to him, Matthew. Once again, rest in peace, Matt. He didn't ask for that cocaine to be shoved in his face. He had a heart attack from that motherfucker. And that shit hurt Teddy, but his dad is a straight dick. I mean, shit, it was his fucking fault. Even so, you wait yeah, two weeks. Yeah, what you weeks, call me for? Like, you tell me two weeks after my brother's death, and you made sure that the funeral was the day before you called me, and then you just going to tell me, one, you blame me, and two, after this phone call, apparently we have no further reason to talk. Like, Teddy Daddy a dick. This episode was too goddamn crazy. And that motherfucker said everybody's replaceable. In his drunken state, but we know that, you know, drunk minds speak sober thoughts. He meant that shit. If Franklin replaceable, then he's fucking replaceable. He should know that. I don't know why he felt so cocky that day talking about who else bringing $8 million in. Bro, give somebody the right incentive. They'll figure it out. We have expanded our territory to Arkansas. All the way on the other side of the fucking country. And Jerome, listen here, Jerome's starting to get that real uncle vibe about him. Like, he ain't feeling this shit. Like, why you do this to this girl and her man? You know we about to basically fuck their life up. But she had a good point. Like, okay, yeah, I gave him the crack, but you gave him the Uzi. That's just inviting problems type shit. And why she chose now to be honest with him about the Teddy situation? Like, you waited a year. Because she knew what the fuck she just did. She just fucked up her childhood friend's life. Yeah, but you worried about what we doing? Like, at least you know we slightly protected because we the CIA. We know that. But it's like you waited a year and you tell him now? How did you think he was going to react to that shit? So it was just Jerome and Leon. That just did not know. That's fucked up. So... Basically, your bitch just told you that your nephew, your blood, didn't trust you enough with this sensitive information. And you finding out a year late. And I hate to bring her up. We're not gonna um, say we're not gonna say her name. We don't say that name on this channel. We're not gonna not say her name. Not on this channel. You in the comments, you will get blocked. I'm just playing. But don't say her name. 
So, reporter bitch. bitch. Yeah, that bitch. She is out here trying to give us ultimatums. Well, not even us. She picked her weak link, and to her, the and, weak link is Alton. And she got two in there, Wanda and him. The fuck she Wanda, Wanda know the Wanda. recipe. She doesn't know that. But I'm I'm saying she there, so Wanda might be on some bullshit. Wanda gonna tell the reporter lady everything? Why? She love Leon. It's gonna get Leon in trouble, too. Leon said I'm busy right now, bitch. <laughs> Anyways, reporter bitch giving Alton an ultimatum. You can either give me the information I want to take down our government. Like, bitch, think this through. Even if I did tell you, you don't think they'll kill us both? And if you don't tell me, I'm going to make my whole story about you, your wife, your son, and this shelter, and get all this shit shut the fuck down. So you're going to forget about the government part. Petty. And why we doing Like that, that, that. Petty. That bitch going to die. She said she'll be back tomorrow. She going to die tonight. You got to go, bitch. As soon as I get home, I'm telling my son. That, that would be an easy solution. Like Franklin, it's this reporter bitch. Franklin tell Teddy, Teddy like, yo, and we get her killed. And then problem solved. Well, Teddy about to bounce. He got to go handle shit in Panama and Nicaragua because Avi fucked up our gun shipment. But we got Gustavo instead. And we already know. Gustavo will take you out for a Klondike bar if we all being honest. And he's in charge. I'm the captain now. Shit is getting spicy out here. And side note, justifiably. Leon's mad at us. I can understand that. But, bro, I feel like he knew there was a big possibility something could happen to Fatback because it almost seemed like when he said, like, yo, I got people in on the inside that could protect you. I felt like he meant it, but, like, you knew that shit was going to be tough. If that was the case, nigga, you go. You take your ass to jail since you know them motherfuckers and everything good. That's true. Why the fuck is Leon so goddamn special? Didn't he say fuck you more than once? But whatever. Don't anything, be no crash dummy. Anything else? So that's all we got for episode six of Snowfall. I love this show. And drop your theories, feelings, comments down below. If you say I run, you getting blocked. I don't know how I'm going to block you, but I'm going to find out how. Pay no attention to him. I'm hey, joking. No attention to him. And once again, thank you guys for helping us get over a thousand subscribers. If you guys are interested in getting some non copyrighted beats produced for you, once again, the link to my homie Big Chiz will be down below in the description. Make sure y'all hit him up, check out the channel, like and subscribe. But also, like, share, and subscribe to us, because, you know, so you can come back and watch us watch more things. We'll see you guys later. Bye.